fear of flying. Safety is a concern of everyone who flies. No other form of transportation is as investigated and monitored as commercial aviation. Yet, if you decide to hold on to the belief that flying is dangerous, then these safety facts are lost to you. Statistics and figures prove airline transportation to be the safest way to travel relate to our logical, rational mind. Worrying about safety go directly to our emotions, and you will always find another article about some near miss or the crowded skies that will reinforce your belief. Most passengers who have knowledge of the commercial airline industry believe that flying is safe, but when something occurs that we don't understand, any of us can become quickly frightened. That's why I encourage you to study as much as you need to reassure yourself about the industry and to take some of the mystery out of commercial flight. An airline accident is very rare, but when some unfamiliar noise occurs, your response is oh, no. What's wrong? Instead, it can be something like, I'm not sure what that sound was, but there's nothing to worry about. Dr. Arnold Barnett, of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, has done extensive research in the field of commercial flight safety. He found that over the 15 years between 1975 and 1994, the death risk per flight was 1 in 7 million. In fact, based on this incredible safety record, even if you fly every day of your life, probability indicates that it would take 19,000 years before you die on a fatal accident. Based on train accidents over the past 20 years, your chances of dying on a train accident are 1 in a million. Thus, flying is 10 times safer than making the trip by train. What about driving, our typical form of transportation? There are approximately 47,000 people killed per year in car accidents. In 1990, 500 million airline passengers were transported an average distance of 800 miles, through more than 7 million takeoffs and landings, in all kinds of weather conditions, with a loss of only 39 lives. During that same year, 46,000 people were killed in car accidents. Dr. Barnett of MIT compared the chance of dying from an airline accident versus a driving accident and came to the conclusion that you are 19 times safer in a plane than in a car. If you are going to worry about dying, there are many more probable ways to die than on a commercial jet. You are more likely to die from a bee sting than from a commercial flight. The number one killer in the United States is cardiovascular disease, with about 885,000 deaths per year. Each of us has about a 50% chance of dying of cardiovascular disease. Whenever we fly, we have a 100,000th of 1% chance of dying. Next time you begin to focus on the possibility of something going wrong on a plane, Think about the probability instead, then you will have little to worry about.